going to be going next. So that's going to be week four. So I don't know how many of you ever have purchased a, a lottery ticket, but when the Powerball gets really big and you see the headlines, you know, it's a massive jackpot that you could win. You know, I might drop five or ten dollars and, and pick up a ticket or two. And uh, I generally don't play the lottery. I just think it's kind of a tax on the poor. But um, when I get that lottery ticket and I start thinking, man, if I won a hundred million dollars, what would I do? And you know, my mind starts, you know, going all over the place where I'd live and the homes I'd have or what airplane I would buy or a boat or, you know, which nonprofit I would support or any of these things. But it just allows my mind to start wandering and, and getting creative. And that's really what journaling is all about. If you're stuck with something, it's like, what you be doing to have? What, who do you want to be? Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, what do you want to have? Just start writing things down. It, you know, if somebody you know pissed you off, you know, write that sucker down. Uh, if something's bothering you in your mind, write it down. I've had a number of journals throughout my uh, throughout my years. I mean, I started quite, and I still use this, by the way. But just a regular eight and a half, eleven pad of paper. I go through these all the time. It just it, for what, if I just have ideas that I want to write. I'll just get them down and, you know, I'll have stacks and I'll put, you know, write about this later or do a video about it later. So I'll, eight and a half by 11, easy way to start. Um, here's a five minute journal. I don't know who created this one, but this has a little, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll just read what this says here. It kind of has a structure about um, how to journal and has quotes at the top. Like this has a quote from Dr. Seuss. It says, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So that's Dr. Seuss. But in the journal on every page, this one says, you know, what are you grateful for? That's a great thing to start with. What are you grateful for? And there's three lines there. It says, what would make today great? Um, and then any daily affirmation that you have. And then at the end, so that would be in the morning. And at the end, there's a couple sections. It says, what three things that happened today were amazing? And then how could I have made today even better? So this is just one journal. It's called the Five Minute Journal. Um, I just picked up a new journal. Just I'm, I'm a journal guy. I kind of like to see what people uh, have. This is from uh, the Atomic Habits author, James Clear. And you can see it's, a, uh, it's almost the same size as the Five, five Minute Journal you know, in terms of width. It's, uh, it's a little bit bigger. Um, but what... It, He's got his own style and, and way of journaling. He's got some ideas and tips and tricks. The one thing I don't like about this this particular journal, it's just it's kind of small. I need I like something that's a little bit bigger, which is one of the reasons why I like the eight and a half uh, by eleven pieces of paper. But uh, what I don't like about the the pieces of paper, it's it's loose leaf and I it, they're hard to you know find if I you know file them. But this is the one I've been using for for years and uh, probably 15 years now, but this was from uh, the late Jim Rohn. It's called the Leadership Journal, and it just has blank lines. It's kind of a leather or a pleather um, style, and I kind of like it, and it's got the gold you know, edges, kind of like a, a Bible, and whenever I open it, I just feel like, wow, you know, this is, a, this is an expensive journal. You know, it, it really kind of puts me in the frame of mind that I, I, I should write some things down here that are really... Uh, are really valuable, you know, insights or ideas. Uh, so it just kind of puts me in a different state. But as you can see, I'll put things in here. Um, you know, last year running for office, it, it was quite an eventful, eventful year. But uh, somebody sent me this uh, picture. This was the guy that actually uh, was inside the Capitol last year. Or actually, no, it was earlier this year, January 6th. And they said, hey, man, that looks like you. And so I, I put a note in here. So, you know, it's not me, Washington, D.C., you know, January 6th. And uh, last week, I took Christy to um, Firekeepers Casino uh, NASCAR race there at uh, Michigan International Speedway. So I have the, the ticket there just so I can keep a record of that. But you can see, I just you know write everything down here. And I have these journals literally 15 years. And when I'm done with this one, I'll put uh, some sticky tape on the, on the spine and then I'll, I'll file it away. And, you know, like I said, it's leather, so it's, gonna, it's durable. It's going to stand up over time. And I can literally go back 15 years. And um, I started, I got these about 15 years ago. But I started writing right after the bank robbery in 1991. That's when I really started making a conscious effort to write things down. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? And who do I want to become? Um, and I have some of those old journals as well. And it's just fascinating to go back through those times. You know, here we are in 2021. So we're talking 30 years of, of thoughts and comments and experiences that I can review. And it's just, it's, it's just fascinating to, 
really see how I've grown and some things that I haven't grown. It's like, wow, I'm still struggling with that. And um, it, it's just fascinating uh, to do that. So anyway, this is just how I do it. And it really does help get stuff out of your head and uh, put it down. Then you don't have to think about it. You know where to find it if you ever need to. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's week number one. That's journaling. Write it all down. It doesn't matter. You, you know, big, small, medium size. Just write everything down. Get it out of your head. Your head is a terrible place to keep ideas. It's a wonderful place to be creative. Um, I think David Allen in his uh, book, in his series, his program, Getting Things Done, he's a big proponent of that well. Get everything out of your head and write it down. And then next week, I'm going to talk about the scorecard and the reason why it's so important to write everything down, because then you can start to organize these things and put them into a plan of attack with your scorecard. So then you can be a little more intentional and have a more objective way to figure out, hey, am I on the right track or am I not on the right track? Because a lot of times you can fool yourself and think you're doing the right thing and you think you're on the right track. And you're, when, you, when you document things and keep score, you realize, wow, you know, I'm really not. Or the flip side could be true. You're like, I'm not doing that well. And then you look back and say, well, you know what, actually I am. I'm, I'm doing well here or not doing well here. But I'm going to talk about that next week in week two with the scorecard. But for this week, just get a journal, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, whatever it is, just start writing things down. And for extra credit, if you can come up with a hundred goals, that's even better. Anything you want to be, do, or have, big, small, doesn't matter, just write them down because we're going to talk about that as well, how you anchor your soul with your desires and your goals and what you want to do. So this is RJ Regan, week one, month one, the mind talking about anxiety and uh, how to become anxious and depressed and some steps to get out of it. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next week.